What's up guys, welcome to today's video. It's currently 1220, January 30th. We're kind of getting our day started. Uh, today's video, you guys can tell from the title, is going to be more of a day in the lifestyle video. We already worked out this morning. Um, woke up generally around 7 a.m. Do about an hour and a half of work in the morning. Go and do about 60 to 70 minutes of strength training in the morning. Go home, fast until right around 11 or 12, eat my first meal, and then from then on, it's usually whatever we have to do throughout the day, whatever I have to do throughout the day. So today's going to be a little bit of driving. We have to go to a couple of our properties. One of the properties I am representing my investor as a real estate agent on, and then we're just going to go check on a couple of our flips and the progress on those as well. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. We're at Dutch Brothers right now getting our afternoon coffee, and then we'll uh, see you guys at the first house. Got the lockbox off of one house, going to throw it on another. All right, so 240. We stopped a few places before this. We had to get uh, actually check on some new flooring. Did you film there? Not really. Yeah. A little bit. Cool. So now we're at our Chandler flip. Uh, I want to give you guys a quick little update. I know, but whatever. <laughs> um, this is the backyard. So this is pretty much fully done here. So this is 95% uh, done. Landscaping's already done. The pool's the biggest thing. We spent, I wanna say like 13,000 on this for the Pebble Tech, all the cool decking that you guys see. They still have to finish off the cool decking. It's all prepped and everything. Got brand new roof on there as well. It's a flat foam roof, so it's a little bit different than the traditional roofs you guys see. This is actually the first house I've ever done that's a complete flat roof with no attic, so it's a little bit, interesting and challenging as well. We'll have a look at the inside now too. We have drywall going on right now, so this will be a pretty fun week to see once it's all drywalled off. Um, but this is the primary bathroom over here. It's on the smaller end. Um, exhaust fan up there. We installed a light, which I like to do on all the houses that are over $450,000. Just install a can light in all the bathrooms. This is the primary bedroom. Scrape the popcorn as well. Nice size closet. We did a can light here as well. And then, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll have a quick look. I'm not gonna talk much because there's music and everything going on here. So we can just briefly show them like the living area and then we're good to go. So it's currently 3.20. I had to race to another one of my listings to grab the lockbox for this listing. So this is actually one of my client's listings. I'm just being the uh, listing agent on it. I don't have any affiliation with the actual property. So I just wanted to get an initial walkthrough here. I've never seen this before. And then I also, like I said, wanted to, needed to throw my lockbox on the property uh, later today. Uh, after I go on my, my second workout for the day, I'm probably going to end up actually listing this property on the MLS. We're supposed to get the photos back any minute now. So, um, yeah, this one is in Mesa. It's off of Maine and the 202. So it's an interesting area. It's not a bad area, but it's a mixture of mobile homes or manufactured homes and then site built homes like this one. This one's considered an SFR. Um, a couple of things that I'm noticing right away. These drop downs right here. So this is a drop down. This room's a drop down, guaranteed. These were additions, most likely 1980 build. So this could have been a carport or an enclosed garage that they just converted. It's just very interesting. I'm guessing that this was carport based on the size um, of this specific room. And then this, if you look over here, um, it steps back up. So this is, was a utility room 
And then when I was walking through here, they made this doorway to kind of attach it. And I'm guessing I didn't even look, this probably doesn't have ducting. So yeah, if you wanna have a look, this has no ventilation or ducting in here, which means you technically can't count this room or this hallway right here as square footage. And um, originally what I assumed they did before even seeing this, this wall right here is they uh, had a doorway into the main house, probably into this room for a washer and dryer before they made this an addition where you can access it through here. So that's just my guess. But this is utility room, water heater, washer dryer, yeah, washer dryer, which is a pretty cool setup. This is another cool little storage room right here that they can have. And this is the type of area and the type of price point where people will appreciate the extra square footage. Um, it's gonna probably be listed at the 350s. So, oh yeah, kitchen right here. And then you have the additional bedrooms over here. This being a four bedroom, two, is it a four one? There's only one bathroom, huh? It's just this, no, oh no, two. two. Yeah, so it's a four two, so this is, it will sell pretty good because like I said, this type of demographic will want that fourth bedroom and it will mean a lot more to them. So this is the primary over here. Um, primary bathroom, full walk-in shower. And then you guys can, I'm not gonna show you the backyard, but you can look through the window right here. Very big backyard, RV gate back there, no HOA, so you can park your RV back there. But it's, it's priced very, very low. It will be priced very low for it being a single family detached property. So I think it'll get a lot of traction in here. And um, yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna create a little TikTok. Then I gotta head home, eat, and then go on a, a bike ride because I'm training for an Ironman 70.3. So um, two workouts a day for the next like six months here. That's it. Welcome to my client's house. This is a 1130 square foot single family residence, four bedroom, two bathrooms in Mesa, Arizona off of Maine and the 202. So it's currently 7.30 in the evening. It's been a few hours since I filmed at that house, but this is usually around the time where I wrap up the day, depending on how busy, how much work I have to do. First of all, how much computer work specifically. That's all I really do after 5 p.m. is just sit on my computer and do anything in terms of real estate agent stuff. For example, tonight is listing my client's property, the one that you guys saw uh, most recently, or any sort of flip stuff, buying inventory, uh, messaging my contractors, looking at potential deals that were sent out this afternoon. If I'm driving around checking on projects, I do all that later in the evening. And then if I'm on my computer most of the day where I don't have to drive around places, then a lot of the times I'll be done with my day early. But um, that's the other thing I want to talk about too is my eating and just kind of my nighttime routine. So I usually go to bed around 11 p.m. I've been trying to implement something called the 3 two, one rule, which is three hours before bed, I'll stop eating just because digesting your food right before bed raises your body temperature and it's just a lot harder to fall asleep and you don't get as deep of sleep. So I've been trying to eat a little bit sooner in the day and just kind of fast through the night and fast through the early morning. Um, two hours before bed, stop drinking liquids so then you don't have to use the restroom at night. And that's pretty recent as of like a week or so ago. So I'm going to see how that works as well. Just trying to get better sleep overall. And then the last three, two, one, the last one is one hour before bed, removing all electronics, which I don't think I'm going to do. I don't have plans to do that. I'm really on my phone up until I go to sleep. Um, but yeah, we did a 90 minute, I think I talked about it. I'm doing an Ironman 70.3. So the training for that's been very time consuming in like a good way, I guess. It's making me kind of schedule every schedule my entire day out a little bit better. But today, for example, was an hour and 45 minute bike ride, which was like 27 miles at a relatively slow pace. So that was something that's also causing me to work a little bit later in the day because that was from 4 p.m. is when we usually train with my friends. Um, and then this one was a two hour workout essentially. So till 6 p.m., get home, eat, shower, and then back on my computer for another hour or so. Um, yeah, that's all I really wanted to talk about. I'm gonna be listing this property tonight. Um, we have, how many properties do we have right now? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine properties, they're all either currently listed, 
um, in the process of us buying them or being renovated. And then we have a couple um, under contract as well to sell. So we're decently busy. We're starting another one tomorrow. And then I'm off to LA for the rest, or Thursday as well. So that's what the rest of my week's looking like. But I appreciate you guys watching this video. Let me know if you guys want to see anything, have any questions about anything. Um, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram, all my information is down below. And if you guys are looking for a real estate agent here in the Arizona area, whether it's investment property, you're looking to buy your house, you're looking to sell your house, I would love to work with you guys. If you guys send over any referrals and I end up working with them, I will pay you a referral fee too. So I appreciate that. Always keep me in mind if you guys are looking for an agent out here and I'll see you guys soon.